Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got a big square that consists of five rectangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And keep in your mind that all these rectangles have the same area. That means this green, brown, yellow, pink, and blue have the same area. And moreover, the side length of this green rectangle has been given to us, which is seven units. And now we are going to find the area of this uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this green rectangle now. And let's assume that the dimensions of this green rectangle be on this side. This is x units and this side is 7 units. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green rectangle. Let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length time width. So therefore the area of this green rectangle is going to be simply we're going to multiply these dimensions. So that is going to be 7 times x. So thus the area of this green rectangle turns out to be 7 times x. And we know that all these rectangles have the same area. So therefore we conclude that all these rectangles have going to be the area 7x each. This is going to be 7x. This area 7x. This area 7x and this area 7x as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this shaded rectangle that consists of uh, pink, yellow and blue rectangles combined. And now let's assume that the dimensions of this shaded rectangle are going to be this side length is going to be same as this one. So this side is going to be x units and let's assume that this side length is going to be y units. So the area of this shaded rectangle is going to be simply we are going to multiply these dimensions x times y. So let's go ahead and write down so the area of this shaded rectangle is going to be simply x times y. But we can also see that the combined area of this uh, shaded rectangle is going to be sum of all these individual areas. 7x plus 7x plus 7x is going to give us uh, 21x. So therefore we are going to equate these areas. x, y is going to be equal to 21x. So thus I can write that uh, this area x, y equals to 21x. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by x. So x and x is gone. So we got uh, simply y equals to on this side x and x cancels out. So our y value turns out to be 21 units. So therefore this y value turns out to be 21 units. And here's our final step. So the side length, this side length of this square is going to be simply sum of these two numbers, 7 plus 21, that is going to be 28 units. And since we are dealing with this square, so all these sides are going to be 28 units as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square. And let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to s square, where s represents the side length of the square. So our area of this square is going to be simply 28 whole square. And if we take the square of this thing, that is going to be 784 square units. So thus the area of this square turns out to be 784 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.